Hey guys, welcome back to my channel on another painting adventure. I'm here on the side of Mount Snowdon. It's quite windy and cold, but the view behind me is absolutely breathtaking. You can see right across the valley, there's some lovely atmospheric perspective as the mountains disappear into the horizon. It's going to be a very epic scene to paint, so please remember to subscribe to my channel and let's get into this painting. I'm starting off sketching in the horizon, the big shapes of the mountains. I'm using raw umber paint, thinned down with my medium, which is a mix of sansador and linseed oil. Sansador is a low odor artist turpentine. I keep the ratio at about 80% sansador to 20% linseed oil. I'm now painting in the sky. It may look like I'm using pure white, but I'm not. I'm actually using a grayed down mixture of titanium white, ultramarine blue, alizarin crimson, and raw umber. I'm working my way from the background to the foreground. I'm keeping the values in the background hills quite close to the sky. This will help them appear to recede and add to that sense of distance and depth in the painting. I really like the lakes in the distance. They add a sort of mystical, Lord of the Rings kind of feel to the painting. I'm now going in with the darks on the hills in the foreground. I'm not using black, but I'm making up about as dark a mixture as I can, mixing my alizarin crimson, ultramarine blue, and some raw umber. I find it helps to paint the dark shadows first, because if you try and paint the dark over the light paint, it can mix with the layer underneath, creating a lighter, grayer color. And it's hard to get the really deep darks, which will add that contrast to your painting. The foreground mountain on the left of the painting is Mount Snowdon itself, although the peak of the mountain keeps going on a lot further and higher to the left, so I couldn't fit this into my composition. It stands at 3,560 feet, that's 1,085 meters, making it the highest point in the British Isles outside of the Scottish Highlands. The winding road which cuts through the valley works as a compositional tool to help lead the eye through the painting towards the distant lakes. If you found the voiceover to my video useful, let me know in the comments below. I don't do it every video, but I may do it on more videos if it's something you enjoy. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and if you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Also, you can give me a follow on Instagram at George Thomas Artist. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas, and I'll have plenty more videos in the new year.